This video gives you a high-level intro into why ARMA PQ models are so useful in industry and academia. Now, I'm going to explain the working of ARMA modeling with the following return notation. You can write the return at time t as the mu t minus 1 plus epsilon t, where mu t minus 1 is simply the conditional expected forecast of the return rt conditional on ft minus 1 information. So, so that's the one step ahead prediction. And epsilon t, which is nothing else than just the spread between the realized return in t and the conditional forecast. And that is the one step ahead forecast error. Now I want to reveal two observations already here. First of all, The word ARMA PQ stands for autocorrelated moving average process of order P and Q. More precisely, an ARMA PQ assumption for RT implies that first, mu T minus 1 depends linearly on the past P realized returns and on the past Q forecast errors. And second, the epsilon T is an unforecastable IID random variable. Now, second, ARMA-PQ models are heavily used in industry and research since at least the 1970s. They build a basic building block for short horizon forecasts and statistical arbitrage trading strategies. For our course, it's important that you realize later on that ARMA-PQ models for a return implies a particular probability distribution for future returns. And the conditional mean of that distribution is characterized by the past P realized returns and the past Q forecast errors.